Hey everyone, this video is going to be my newborn must-haves. I just had a baby in 2019 and I've got another one due this year in 2020. So all of these are fresh in my mind and I'm really excited to share them with you. This is not everything you need for a newborn. This is simply a video of my favorite newborn must-haves that if I did not have them, I would be going out to repurchase them ASAP. So this video is all about the products that I cannot live without. Before we get into all of these, I filmed a dedicated breastfeeding favorites video. So if you want to see that, it will be linked down below for you. So the first newborn favorite I have, I actually didn't think I would need right away as having them as a newborn. I thought I would need it when they were a little bit older, but it's definitely something that you want to get right away and that is binky clips. These ones are the absolute best. Some of the clips are not as tight and the baby will grab onto it and just rip it right off and it totally defeats the purpose. So I highly recommend this brand. I also really like the suede or leather ones. That is just a flat strip. It's not braided or anything um, because it's really flexible. Sometimes you will clip it to the baby's top and the band here is so stiff that it doesn't like lay well. It'll just kind of like smack them in the face. So I definitely recommend a flexible one. And to go along with that, the Bibs pacifiers are 100% best pacifiers ever. Um, they come in 100 million different colors, which is awesome. That's just a perk, but that's not even why it's the greatest. The greatest thing about it is the shape. It's kind of shaped like a light bulb. And I started out with Preston having those hospital binkies that just kind of look like a little pinky finger. And anytime he would open up his mouth, it would just fall right out. So the binky clips help that because it'll just drop right out of his mouth. <laughs> but a binky like this, where it's shaped like a light bulb, really, really helps too um, because he'll kind of open his mouth, but this fatter part here prevents it from just dropping right out. The other cool thing about this pacifier is that they have glow in the dark ones which are really, really nice. And it is just so handy to be able to see the soft little glow of this, to be able to reach into their bassinet and find it for them and give it back to them. Okay, so favorite number three are these zip up swaddles for newborns. I had several of the wrap kind, um, including the Zen swaddle, and they just kind of fall down into it. it you'll t get it real tight around their arms, but it will just creep its way up and they will like sink down inside of the swaddle, which I obviously don't like. So a zip up swaddle is uh, definitely the way to go. This one is the Wombi. Continuing on with sleep favorites, the Snooza is a huge favorite of mine. It's a similar device to like the Owlet where it monitors breathing and things, but I will tell you why I chose this one. So this clips onto their diaper and monitors their breathing movement. So it will tell you their breathing rate and you can set alerts on your phone if um, your breathing rate, if their breathing rate gets below a certain point or above a certain point, if they're having rapid breathing, you can set an alarm for that to notify you as well. It also tracks their sleeping patterns, their body temperature. So if they're having, if they're sick and they're having fevers kind of spike throughout the day, you can monitor that through the night and you can get an alert when their fever spikes. And it also monitors their position. So if you have a baby that's just starting to roll and they roll onto their stomach, but they can't quite get back over, this will alert you when they've rolled as well. I've put a little electrical tape over top of it just because it does have a constant light and that can be just a little disturbing in the night. So I just put some tape over that to um, hide it. Another really great bonus about the Snooza is that when it does notice that the breathing rate has dropped below whatever threshold you've set it to, it will actually beep and vibrate in an attempt to kind of startle the baby awake. 
If you are pregnant and your baby is getting the hiccups right now, I definitely recommend to go pick up some gripe water to have on hand. Preston would get the hiccups all the time and gripe water would just stop them instantaneously. It was the craziest thing to watch. I wouldn't give it to him all the time, only when I could tell that the hiccups were bothering him. But I couldn't believe that they worked so well. If your newborn is being born in the colder months, in the fall, winter, or even early spring, like Preston was born in March, I definitely recommend getting one of these fuzzy little buntings. We actually loved this <laughs> so much that we got another one when he outgrew it. These are from Carter's, and this goes over top of whatever outfit they're already wearing. So you can have them dressed all cute, and you just slip them inside of here, like, a little sleeping bag. <laughs> My next newborn favorite is actually an app. It is the Sprout app. And in those beginning weeks, you don't know what day it is, what time it is, you lose track of everything. You don't remember the last time they had a diaper change, when they woke up from their nap, when they need to eat next. You just don't know anything. It's really hard to keep track of. So this app helped me a lot. So it just helps you kind of keep track of everything and you can line up patterns as well, like when they eat and stuff. It was the only way I knew what was going on in that first month. Something else you're definitely gonna want is a video monitor. The sound ones are fine, but there are so many times where they make a sound but they're still sleeping. And if you just have the sound monitor, then you kind of go into the room not knowing that they're actually just kind of whining in their sleep and end up waking them up. So having a video monitor to kind of <laughs> check in on them and kind of monitor, you know, their position or if they're just kind of starting to wiggle and wake up, you can do that with the video monitor. I love this one. It comes with an app and it is only like $25 on Amazon. I went with the more affordable video monitor because I already had his breathing and sleep patterns and everything like that covered with his wearable monitor, the snooze up. So that's why I didn't get anything fancy that had all those other features with it because I didn't need to double up on those features. You'll definitely want a baby carrier. I had several different kinds. I had the baby Catan and different wraps and things. And the one that we kept going back to and still use to this day, and he's 13 months old now, is the Baby Bjorn mini carrier. We got the mesh one, so it's nice and cool in the summertime, especially for Derek because he's a man and gets hot and sweaty. I definitely recommend an adjustable carrier like this that is easy to go back and forth from me to Derek. That was one of the reasons why I didn't like the Baby Catan. And this is just really simple to figure out for the dads. It's also the mini version of the carrier, so it has less kind of straps and buckles and things that need adjusting. And you put it on like a backpack and snap it in the front instead of putting it on forward and trying to snap it in the back. I found that really easy. The hatch sound machine is definitely on my newborn must-haves. I love that you can control it from an app. Now that he's older, we've been using the different color settings, so it's red for his nap times, no light at all during bedtime sleep, and then it turns green in the morning. So it really grows with them. And I know they have an updated version now that has a clock display on it, and that would have been really helpful. So I definitely recommend getting the updated version. Cloth diapers are 1,000% in my newborn must-haves. We did not use them when Preston was a newborn because we had so many gifted disposables, but he had blowouts all the time, would leak through the diapers all the time, even as a newborn. And as soon as we switched to cloth, when he was big enough to fit into them, because we didn't get a newborn set, we just got like a regular size set, not another single blowout in his life. So I highly recommend looking into cloth diapering your newborn. They are so much easier to use than you think. I actually just did a vlog um, talking a little bit about them, so I will link that down below if you want to see how we do it on a day-to-day -day basis. The Newton crib mattress is the coolest mattress I've ever seen. I cannot wait to use it as he gets older as well. There's two huge benefits to this mattress. It's totally breathable. It has no foam or anything like that. It's just like this 
meshy network that you can breathe straight through. Another fabulous thing about it is that it is washable. Um, Preston didn't really have any problems with like spitting up or wetting in the night, but I'm sure when he's a toddler, he will definitely have those wetting the bed years. And I cannot wait to just be able to throw this thing in the bathtub and spray it down with the shower hose because my first baby I did not have that pleasure and that mattress I mean we just had to burn it in the end. I definitely recommend getting a car seat mirror. Make sure you install it really safely. Do some extra safety precautions and even zip tie it so if you're in a crash it doesn't become a projectile but it is so nice to just be able to peek back and make sure that their head isn't down if they're asleep and just to be able to check on them. It will definitely give you peace of mind. The next thing is, I don't even know how I found this product, but I'm sure you've seen it on ads before and that is those sock-ons. They're these little like holsters for your socks or I don't even know what you would call them, stirrups. <laughs> I don't know, but they are these little stretchy things that go over top of the baby socks so the baby socks stay on and they actually work wonders so I definitely recommend those. And those were all of my newborn must-haves. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see a video about all the baby products that I did not think were worth the hype, including the snoo, then leave me a comment down below and I will definitely film that for you. If you like these kinds of videos, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see more.